flagship, which in the 18th century was the pride of the Royal Navy. She was HMS Invincible, a 74-gun ship built by the French and seized in battle by the British. She was designed not only to be faster than anything else in the fleet, but more agile as well. And because she was fast and nippy, that means that she could uh, run rings around bigger ships uh, because they were slower than she was. Um, and that made her basically a, a bit of a Ferrari of, a Royal Navy, of the Royal Navy, so fast and powerful. But in 1758, at the start of a voyage to Nova Scotia, everything went wrong. Her anchor got caught under her bow, and then her rudder also jammed. Now, a rudder is your steering. So she has no brakes, no steering, and of course she's setting sail in high winds because you need the high winds. So the winds just blow her off course, blow her out of control. So she ran out aground on, on a sandbank in the Solent. In Portsmouth's historic dockyard, the excavation of the wreck is at the centre of this new exhibition called Diving Deep. For 260 years, Invincible lay undisturbed on the seabed of the Solent until one day in 1979, her wreckage was caught up in a fisherman's net. Excavation divers have only recovered her cut water to the surface. The rest of the ship remains on the seabed, but they have brought up artefacts which give us a fascinating glimpse into life on board an 18th century warship, from leather shoes to rum barrels to instruments used to punish wayward crew. One of the most surprising artefacts to have been brought up from the ship are these wig curlers. They come in lots of different sizes and they're made of clay. And they would have been used to curl the officers' wigs because out at sea, wigs are liable to go a little bit flat. And as part of the exhibition, you can even have a go at curling a wig yourself. In the 18th century, everybody wore wigs. That was the height of fashion. Officers, the captain, would have had wigs for working in and wigs for eating dinner in, you know, sort of posh wigs. So some poor servant had to spend a lot of time curling the officers and the captain's wigs. Despite coronavirus restrictions, the exhibition was designed for families and remains hands-on, with lots of activities for children and adults to have fun with. There are 19 hand sanitizer stations dotted between exhibits to keep visitors safe. So it's still possible to explore a 3D model of Invincible created by excavation divers by taking thousands of photographs. Essentially, that is a 3D photograph of the wreck on the seabed as she sits now. When she sank, her shot locker, now a shot locker is essentially the bit where you store all your cannonballs or, or shot, sort of pinned her down because it's the heaviest bit. And you can still see all the shot here. Diving Deep takes visitors from land to seabed. It will be open for a year before moving to Chatham next autumn.